Hello everyone. So, oh, okay, I'm going to try and get this whole video done this time. <laughs> Every time I get it started, I get interrupted, so. Just crossing your fingers. All your fingers done. Um, I have a couple of things to share with you. I have some stuff from CC Designs and from Simon's Stamp that came in the mail today. Yay. Um, as well as a Goodwill find from the weekend. Um... So, and this is all, like, Valentine's day -y stuff, so I wanted to go ahead and share that with you before I share my cards. So let's jump right in. So I picked up, to round off my cart so I could get the free shipping, um, I picked up some Doodlebug washi tape, and this is the Hugs and Kisses, and it's just some X's and O's, and I thought it was really cute and a nice size. So I went ahead and picked that up. I also picked up their two, I picked up some of their dies. I picked up three of them. I've got the um, Love You dies, um, the big one, the big one and the small one. And this is what they look like. And I thought these are just, I mean, this is a little bit bigger than I had um, anticipated, but it's a good size. I checked it out. Fits on the cards fabulously. You know, obviously you don't want a card too sm too much smaller than that because then it won't, but that's what that one's for. So I went ahead and picked up both of those. I also picked up their Big Thanks die as well. So I had already taken these out and set them aside. Um, so I picked up that die as well. Oops. Let me make sure I am. Okay, I am. <laughs> Camera. <clears throat> And again, a little bit bigger than I had anticipated, but still works great on a card. And I thought that, you know, these could even work on a scrapbook layout or whatever. So that's really cute. Really do like that. I also picked up some Wink Estella glitter. I find that I use these way more than stickles or glitter. So. I still haven't fully decided if I want to go ahead and get rid of all my glitter because I'm going to find, you know, that I'm going to need the glitter. I know as soon as I take it away. Um, I won't get rid of my stickles, but I've got a lot of glitter, so I'm kind of, you know, like I said, I'm kind of back and forth, kind of him and hawing at it, so, you know, whatever. So this one is the violet, dark pink, and the orange. Um... So I went ahead and I got that pack as well. I also picked up the chemist. Oh, sorry, sorry. The science of love stamp set from Lawn Fawn and the matching die. I thought this was just really cute and just way versatile. And I did try to go really carefully on my um um Valentine's Day type stamps. Um, cause I've got like quite a few, um, Halloween ones and, uh, quite a few, uh, Christmas ones that I, you know, next year they're going to come out with new ones and I'm going to love those. And then I'm going to have all these stamps that I'm probably never going to touch again. And just, so I wanted to make sure that I got ones that I could use over and over again. And this was one of those stamp sets. So, um, I went ahead and picked that up. Um, and it's got some really great sentiments like um, smiles I only have eyes for you uh, you plus me equals then their little exclamation mark um, these cute little birds along with the hearts um, I think this is supposed to be a calculator I'm going with calculator <laughs> um, friendship love uh, your tops in my book we have great chemistry or we have great chemistry um, and then a little book, and then the little test tube, and little beaker things. Um, plus a little face, and some more hearts. Um, and I love this little book, like when I talked about versatility, is my husband loves to read, and since he's got the Kindle Fire, I don't buy him, like, gift cards to Barnes & Nobles very much anymore. I just get him an Amazon thing, because then he can use it just for whatever. But I thought it would be really cute to, you know, like, make a gift card holder using the stamp set as well. So I got that and that was from Simon's Stamp. 
Um, and then from CC Designs, I got, I had very little to no, take that back, I have no Valentine's Day sen sentiments. So I wanted to make sure I picked them up, and I, I really adored, um, well, <laughs> I really adored the Adoring You um, stamp set by Amy R. It's got some really, really cute sentiments. So I went ahead and picked this one up, and it's got Happy Heart Day, Love Begins in a Moment, grows over time and lasts an eternity. I just want, oh sorry, just want to say I love you. And then two different Happy Valentine's Days, which is really nice. Can't get enough of you. Be my Valentine. Sending lots of love your way. Always thinking of you. Sweet on you. Love is in the air. You're kind of cute and I sort of like you a little. Okay, maybe a lot. Uh, you make good times great. I love you. Loads of love coming your way. I love you this much. I adore you. We're good together. Sending lots of love your way. February Heart 14, sealed with a kiss. I love you. And then my favorite out of the sentiment stamp set, out of this stamp set, is I love you not only for who you are, but who I am when I'm with you. And I love that one. So... And they're good size. Like for eight bucks, it's a really good size. Lots of sentiments. And then I also picked up the um, cute pig. Took me a while to like say that because I kept wearing cupid and no cute pig. Um, and I thought I'm not huge into pigs or anything, but I thought he was really cute. So I picked it up, and it also says sending you hogs and kisses. And I was he looks a little dirty, and that's because I was playing around with him. So. I had like almost an entire week between CC Designs and Simon Says showing up that, you know, I wanted to play. So I played with that one. <laughs> and then I also got the um, Meeple's little Valentine's one. This is Love is in the Air stamp set. And I really love um, the little girl and the little boy and they're holding hearts because all of these little sentiments right here fit inside. And this little Cupid guy is kind of cute too. Just... I don't know. I think maybe it's a smile. It's just a bit big. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, like, hers is big, but most of it's hiding, so I'm not sure what it is. Like, these two are really cute, I think. And this one, I'm just, I'm having kind of a hard time getting past the big giant grin. But he's still kind of cute. Um, my love, smooch, cutie, love you, hugs, forever, kisses, sweetie, be mine. So, the, I, it's interesting, because my last meeples that I got they were all cut out and this time they weren't so I don't know I think this is the newer set I'm not sure but um, I got that because I thought that was really cute and I thought that you know that would be really cute from both of my girls so those were the Valentine's Day ones and then I'm always going through like their clearance stuff and um, they got a category in there for uh, retired stamps and stuff and the last time I was in there before, like way before I placed this order, um, their mushy, 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 mushy muffins, they didn't have any in the rubber, and I was like, oh, so bummed. But I got them in the digital. Well, this time when I went back, I noticed that they had them, and I thought, oh, they either came out with new ones or they have a few of them back. So even though I already had them in digital form, and I'm sure some of you will be like, do you already own them? Why did you buy them again? I bought them again. So I bought all of the most moshi muffins that I already had in digital form. Um, mostly, I got them mostly because it's really hard to do any kind of paper piecing when you can't stamp the image. Um, I did try it once. I had a piece of scratch that I just kind of stuck in there. I thought, well, whatever I get, I get. And... Um, it worked out okay because it was a pretty simple pattern so it really didn't matter where the image came out on but it was you know it was like that big so I really had to tape you know I had to make sure that the image would fit dead center and then tape all four sides down so when it went through my printer because um, I taped it on some white paper um, that it would you know made sure that it would go through and stuff and it was kind of a pain and I thought well that's just no fun <laughs> that's no fun at all so I went ahead and picked them up, and they were only like, I want to say they were, hold on a second, 
I'll get my receipt out. Oops. They were seven dollars each. So a bit more than I probably should have paid for since I already had them in digital form, but in my eyes, totally worth it. So I got Mrs. Claus. Again, if I didn't plan to try and ever paper piece them together, I probably wouldn't have gotten them. Um, but so much easier to paper piece when you have the stamped image. And then I have this one. This is sweet. Um, I recently used her um, for a Valentine's Day bag swap. And I'm hoping to get my bag from my partner soon. Hoping. So I will be sharing that. Um, but because it was digital form, um, when I printed her out, I ended up printing her out way too big for the size of the bag. But I, but the funny thing was, is I printed out the image because the bag was like a five by seven. So I printed the image out so that because there was a bit of a gap at the tops, I printed the image out so that it was a four by six, but it still was too big for the bag. I thought that was really weird. So, um, so I don't know if I, like, I hit, maybe I hit the wrong one, or, you know, so, um, so I like, you know, because this is one size, and I know what size it'll be on the cards. So I got Sweet, and then I got Reading Rebecca, and, um, I really, really liked her, so she's really cute. And then I also picked up Tangled Tori which is one that I had already used in my Christmas card series from last year. And then I got Baby It's Cold Outside. Oh, so that's Tangle Tori. And then Baby It's Cold Outside. And then Snowball Sarah. So I went ahead and picked those up. So now I have them in the digital form if I so choose to need them bigger. Um... But I also have them in the rubber, so if I choose to paper piece, I can do it. So I picked those up. I was really excited. I may go back and pick up some of the other ones. I'm not... I love the way that these stamp sets, or this particular type of stamp set, looks. Um, I think she's just... She's so much fun, and she's not, you know, like the normal um, skinnier version. I mean, you know, she's got, like, she's got hips and a butt and... Um, I don't have anything against, like, the smaller images that are thinner, just, to me, she looks more human, you know, more realistic, not human, but, you know, more realistic as a person, sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think you understand what I mean, right? Um, but, um, I thought that, I just, I, because I like the way that they turned out, I thought I'd go back, um. I was thinking about getting, like, the mom one and the dad one and stuff. So I haven't fully decided, but I'm hoping that the next time I go in and have the money to get some, I can pick up a few more of these because I really do like the Mashi Muffins. So that was my stamp, my haul from CC Designs. And then my find from Goodwill, um, I Sunday I just, I had to get out of the house. I, I haven't been cooped up necessarily. Like, I've had a car, and, um, and the ability to leave, but for some reason, Sunday, I just felt like I needed to go somewhere. So, I went to Tuesday morning. I've been going back quite a bit to Tuesday morning in the hopes <laughs> that I'll find more Prima flowers, and I think I'm going to have to wait until, like, next winter to find them, because that's about when I found them this time. Um, because I think I figured out that that's how... Tuesday morning works is that if they get anything that's from like other stores or whatever it's always after they have not so much been discontinued but not necessarily um, like the stores have stopped carrying them but you know they still have all this product so you know that sort of thing again not 100% sure but whatever um, but so I went to Goodwill as well and I was just kind of looking around and I'd seen some really cool things, and I kind of hemmed and hawed back and forth, but I walked over by their frames, and, um, I found these 12 by 12, let's see, let me see, let me see if I can at least get, mm, 
sort of, <laughs> um, these 12 by 12 frames. And these, this particular one, you can find at Joann's. Um, and they are usually like 20 bucks for the 12 by 12. But this thing I got for $3.99, and I got two of them. So I have got two of these 12 by 12. Uh, we'll put this one in upside down. Um, 12 by 12 frames. I mean, how cool is that? So for under $8, I got two of these. When you can have, I have a very hard time finding like these kind of things, even at Joann's, on sale. I went to Joann's on Monday to kill time between um, my daughter needing, or you know, my daughter being done with her jujitsu class. And I thought, you know what, I know that that was a good deal, but I want to go and see how much those really were. And they, like I said, they were like 20-something dollars. No. The 12 by 12s I think, were almost $24. And then they were on sale for like 12 And that was 50% off. So if I had gotten them for like 60% off, I probably would have spent... Seven, somewhere between seven and ten dollars for one, as opposed to the two that I got for under eight bucks. So I do love going to Goodwill. I find, I mean, all my shelves are from Goodwill, you know. So I was really excited because I have a friend who will be having a baby, um, and I wanted to do something. And she doesn't scrapbook or anything, but I thought it would be kind of fun to do. Um, to do something. So when I saw those, I thought, oh, well, maybe a shadow box would be cool. Because then, you know, the, the baby's wristband, her wristband, and the ultrasound pictures, and the baby just born picture, and, you know, something along those lines could all fit into there um, that she can then keep. But then it'll be all ready to go that she can put it in the baby's. I don't even know if she does, like, just throws photos in an album. Maybe. She doesn't exactly scrapbook, but she might do, like, a like an album thing, but it'd be framed and ready to go and the kid can take it, you know, with him whenever. So I still have a lot of stuff that like my mom made for me when I was tiny. And I think I still have baby clothes that were, cro that were crocheted or knitted, I'm not sure which, um, that I still hold on to. I have no idea who did them. I think my grandmother on my mom's side did. Don't quote me on that. But, uh, I still have those and can't wait to pass them down to my girls when they have kids and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so that was it. That was my haul. Um, hopefully it was a relatively short one. Oh, under 20 minutes. Yay. <laughs> that was a little better than I thought. Um, so I should be getting my Valentine's Day card series started here soon. I do have a few of them done already, which is awesome. Um, Unfortunately, it's not going to be like the 14th because I was hoping I could start on February 1st and go all the way to the 14th. But because we were so sick and it, I literally, I did that one haul video and then I hadn't stepped back into the craft room for another week and a half, almost two weeks. Because I just, I was sick and the thought of being back there and hacking up my lungs and coughing and sneezing and, you know, just feeling bleh, it just, <laughs> no didn't want to do that because I'd hate, I didn't want to sit here and have that feeling because I was afraid that it would kind of linger in the room. I do try to make this room as positive as possible. Like, I, I don't, I, not that me and my husband fight very often, but I mean, if we're going to fight, it's not going to be in this room. Um, I try very hard not to scream at the kids in this room. Um, I try not to do anything super negative in here. I'm not... I'm not a big, I, I'm kind of into karma, but I'm not a big into, like, the whole spirit of a room type of thing, or the feng shui necessarily, but I do try to keep certain things, you know, like, positive. Like, this room, it's supposed to be where I'm creative, and this is my happy place. This is where I can come and sit when I feel like crap, you know, like, oh, it's a bad day, and I just, I need to be, I just need a quiet place. I can come back here. Even if I turn my music on, it's just, you know, there's no rooms above me. I can still hear everything going out in the living room, the kids outside, but 
because I have four walls around me in a tighter space, I feel more at ease than if I was trying to relax out in the living room because, you know, the kids are driving me nuts, you know, that sort of thing. So the thought of coming back here when I was sick and hacking on everything, I thought, well, this room doesn't get cleaned very much as it is. So we don't need to spread all of the sick germs in this room and then no nobody ever gets better. But I didn't want to look at all my stuff when I was feeling like crap to then turn around when I was feeling better to come in here and look at everything and go, oh, well, nothing is inspiring me. I want, you know, I want this room to stay as inspired as possible. Just like my bedroom, I want as dark as possible at night, but I still want it to be bright during the day. Uh, mostly because the only lights upstairs um, for daylight are my bedroom and my kids' bedroom. So it stays kind of dark upstairs. So I want, you know, like I want the rooms to be light and and airy and stuff. So when it comes to like paint colors, I want something that'll be bright during the day, not reflective at night, that sort of thing. So, um, so unfortunately it'll be a small... Valentine's Day card series, but I have started it. And so that's a plus in my um, New Year's goals, or, you know, yeah, goals. Um, I did also, I'm going to say this, I am also very proud of myself because although I've only had two birthdays this year, um, at least ones that I have got, I can get a hold of the people and send them the stuff, um, or I have their birthdays on file, either way. I did actually manage to get birthday cards done. So I got one done for my mom, and then I got one done for my best friend, Ashley. So um, I'm very excited about that, because that, to me, that's just, that's positive for me. Because, I mean, I've got two done so far, and I don't have any birthdays that I know of. I'd have to look it up in February. Um, but, or March, or April. You know, I don't know when the next birthday is, other than May, and that's my dad. So... I think I have a couple other cards that could be made in there, but um, I was very proud of myself because I knew when I needed to start it so I could have it mailed out. My mom's, unfortunately, got to her late, but that's because I was sick, so I didn't have a chance to do it. Um, but when I was better, before I got worse, I did make the card. So I shouldn't say I didn't, I, you know, I obviously was back here before that. Um, oh, but that was done before my last haul video, so I guess, yeah. Um, and then for my friend Ashley's, I was able to get hers done on a Wednesday or Thursday and then um, mailed it out Friday and was able to get it to her. So it actually showed up to her on her birthday, which was really cool. Um, it also helped that I didn't confine myself into the back room. I went out into the living room because uh, hubby, hubby was gone, but... Um, Wednesday nights I usually watch my shows um, that are going on because I usually have two programs recording so I went out into the living room to do it all. Um, the only drawback was I didn't have the best light so <laughs> but it worked out because I got it done so I'm very excited and I just rambled there for a little bit. I'm so sorry. So much for this being a 20 minute video. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop now. So thanks for watching. Um, I look forward to the Valentine's Day series and I hope you guys end up enjoying it, and I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Bye now.